So now open our product.component.html file from the product folder and in this HTML let's remove the pre-written HTML and first of all let's create a back button router link and if we click on the back it should navigate to our home page and back all right so under it let's add heading add new product after the heading let's create a form form has an id so let's name it form new product and the name is will be the same form new product and after that we need to write its form identifier so let's write hash product data equals to ng form all right and after that let's within the brackets let's write ng submit close the bracket equals to call a function that we are going to define in our TypeScript file that is product.component.ts file so let's name the function add new product and we are going to send the data product data dot value all right this product data is coming from this product data okay so inside this form let's create a label name and after the label let's create input type equals to text name equals to name id equals to name and placeholder name and after that we need to write ng model and this is how we are going to fetch the data of these input text boxes uh, within this product data from ng form so we need to write a keyword called ng model and br so let's copy this line and paste it change the label from name to color and change the name color copy this color change the id and placeholder and keep the ng model keyword and after these labels let's create an input type equals to the submit and value equals to add product and this is the button okay so let's go ahead and click on add product we can see that uh, this form has been generated the name color and add product all right so i think that style should work if we click on the styles.css right so let's go back reload it back add product so well we can see the styles later on now let's create a function in our typescript file and the function name should be add new product so let's open up our product.component.ts file and same as we did in our home component uh, we need to first import few things so import http and we need response uh, we might need headers from angular dash http okay so within this constructor let's create the http instance private http of the class http and after the constructor let's create an object and name it product object and this is of type object this is how we define the properties in typescript and let's add for now that's pretty much fine I wanted to do validations for let's add the validation later so now let's add add new product function 
and this function is going to receive a product and this dot product of bj equals to name product dot name and the color product dot color okay so we have created an object and after that let's call it so this dot http dot post this is the post request and we need to colon slash localhost colon tetra5 slash products this is the instance and after that we need to pass the data and this dot product object is the data dot subscribe response response and inside it we are going to receive the data so let's add console.log and we can fetch that we don't want to show it or bind it to our HTML we just want to update our database okay so let's save it move back and reload it there is no error so let's write uh, and try to add let's write Mike and it has a white color and click on add product there is an error add new product is not a function so let's open up let's save it again let's save it again I think we need to run our project again because sometimes uh, it doesn't uh, show up in our so let's go and reload it again and I will write Mike and white so let's click on add product internal server error can't read property ID of undefined the reason is that uh, by default when we fetch the data using this JSON server uh, we didn't add the IDs to these default products okay so uh, this is why it is showing me an error so let's add one two and three so let's two and three so let's save it let's run our JSON server again so that it get the data from that updated file so it has run now let's go back and reload it the JSON server and see if the updated products have the ID so ID 1 2 and 3 so let's reload it go back and we can see the IDs so let's add product and I'm going to name it Mike and white and add product and there is no error if we go back we can see that the new product has been added okay so but uh, these three products have the IDs that we defined by default and after that the IDs of the later product are being added by the JSON server okay so now our product has been added now what if um, we want to show a message that product has been added or not and we want to validate it so let's go back and we can see that it has been updated as well so uh, right now let's add a confirmation string confirmation string of type string and it has a message new product has been added and is added to check if our product has been added when we want to show our message so is added and is added needs to be true when our product is added so is added equals to the true and we need to write this keyword before it as well so this dot added let's come back to our product.component.html file and below this form let's add a br and after that let's add h3 and if when we want to show a confirmation string message so we need to add and check it with an if equals to is added when this added is true then show this message okay 
so this message is going to be bind with the confirmation string coming from that thing so let's go and reload it and add a new product code and that has a red color let's add add product and go back add product it doesn't show because again because of some reason it doesn't make the changes so I need to go back and run it again so I have run my project again now let's go back and reload it and if I write something let's say I want to add a mouse that has a blue color and if I click on add product it has shown me a message new product has been added if I click go back and these are the products that are added so our new product is working fine all right so now let's add our delete functionality I'm going to add a new column right after uh, these uh, name and color and if I click on delete it's going to show me a, a confirmation message if I click OK it's going to delete that particular product okay so in order to do that let's open up our project again and let's close these product things okay so right here I need to add a th an empty heading and I need to write a TD and that column is going to have a delete uh, text so let's add our delete text so delete and in this TD I'm going to add a click event and click event is it's going to call a delete product function and I'm going to send the ID and ID is going to identify that which product needs to be deleted we can send any other unique property but so let's go to our TypeScript file and before writing that function delete product <coughs> we need to add something right here after constructor so we need to first identify which product needs to be deleted and that needs to be stored in an ID of type number and let's create headers equals to new headers and I need to write the type of that is the content type and that is JSON type so application slash JSON all right so now let's come down and I'm going to copy this function paste it remove the inner things and I'm going to name it delete product let me check if it's the same delete product and delete product all right so in order to delete the product let's add if condition confirm that is going to pop up a message are you sure so inside if let's create a const URL and let's add this and dollar sign within the brackets HTTP colon slash localhost colon tetra5 slash products and double quotes curly braces slash and the dollar ID ID needs to be in curly braces so that is the ID <clears throat> so this is it I need to send the ID as well from here okay so let's save it make sure there is no error so make sure you add these uh, I don't know what is what this character is called it's just in the upper uh, numeric keys at on the top left corner okay so I need to write return 
this dot http dot delete request and i need to use the url i need to pass the headers this dot headers dot to promise dot then and within this then this dot fetch data because once I delete it uh, I want to reload and fetch the data again to see the changes so that has been saved now we need to go to HTML and let's add this delete text within an anchor tag okay cut and paste and go back and you can see it has become blue uh, and you need also go to style.css and add the color blue to the anchor tag and add the hover uh, selector and add the cursor to pointer and color to blue so uh, as I'm writing the CSS, let's change this uh, style as well and make it a little bit uh, bigger. So let's go to the style and same as uh, we did uh, with this table. Let's copy it and paste it. And I'm going to change the selectors to form label input. I don't need a border. And let's add the padding and the font size. Okay. And to the input let's add the margin top 10 pixels okay so let's save it I don't need the colon right here and go back so you can see that it has been updated so let's go back and if I click on the delete this function should be called and it is sending an ID and it needs to show me are you sure if I click on yes then it should delete that particular data and should call the fetch data and reload my table again. So if I click on delete, it has shown me are you sure? If I cancel, it is it hasn't deleted anything. If I click delete and if I click OK, response with type actually I didn't define this promise. In order to define the promise, I need to add something above. So I need to write import single quotes rx js slash add slash operator slash to promise. So make sure you import this statement as it is because without it we won't be able to use this to promise right here. So let's save it. Let's save the HTML and go to project. Click on delete and click OK. There is an error uncaught in promise response with status. So let's go back and see the errors. Uh, actually we added an extra curly braces right here. Okay and we needed to add a curly braces here rather than the bracket and make sure you write it as it is. So let's save it again and now click on delete and click OK. So you can see this product has been deleted click on delete and click cancel it hasn't deleted anything now let's uh, delete this three delete click and this has been deleted now let's add a product and let's add hat and orange let's add a product product has been added and this hat and orange has been added with an incremental ID to this table okay so let's delete the sixth one delete delete so delete is working fine now we are done with get post and delete now we need to go to our project and write the code for updating a particular product uh, and for that we need to create a new component